Welcome back to another WeDo 2.0 tutorial as part of the Waffles Community Robotics WeDo 2.0 series. Today we are going to be showing you a few things, but most importantly how to connect your WeDo Control Center hub to your device and to your software. So the first thing you're going to want to ensure is that your hub is connected to a source of power or has batteries inside of it and has been charged so that it'll actually run and then you should be good to go. So here this is the picture of your actual hub just so you are clear then there's no confusion as to what piece is the hub. In the top right hand corner you're going to click this little icon with the hub on it and you're going to take your hub and you're going to click the green square button at the top it. center. It'll start oh, flashing okay. This shows you that it is attempting to connect to your device. It should show up in the menu there with whatever the name is. This is showing you that it is attempting to connect to your device. So here we have it seems to have connected. You can see at the bottom right hand corner there is two rectangles. One with the smart hub that says 8, 1, 2, and it's changing all those numbers there. And the 0 on top that shows you that it is connected there. And then here in the main air coding area, we're just putting together a little color changing sequence code just to kind of give you an idea of what the coding looks like when you have your hub connected. So this one's just going to change colors and uh, where you saw the bright white flashing blinking light, that's where it'll show the colors. You don't have to connect anything extra, it's part of the green squares or green blocks which are motor and the sensor so you press play all of these together like a puzzle and this video here will show you Take all the colors the changing alrighty and then drag down out of the menu to delete them So now we're going to show you how to write a message and a comment. So you're going to want to start with your play button and you're going to drag up a message box. This is looks like an ABC and it's a little blue thing. You click on it and you write in your message and then you're going to want to find a block to attach it to because it shows it needs a little circular piece to attach into similar to a puzzle. So you're going to drag that message one up and you'll attach your message to it. It does also come with a message box, so it doesn't matter which one you use. And then write your message in there and you'll attach it. It's like so. You press play, your message will go. Again, it needs to be connected for it to actually work. So press play and then if you go to the very end of your drop menu there with all of the bricks and such, there is a little speech bubble box almost. This is something that you can use to remind yourself of what you need to do next or to make comments or a clarification. It's a handy little tool to keep in the thing, uh, in your program. So you write in there, you click, put it down somewhere, and then write in it and you have a comment. So we're just going to quickly review the basics of the coding bricks again. Um, so just making sure that when you try to put a code together, everything is attached, puzzle pieces all fit together, um, dragging down deletes things, dragging up puts things in, clicking on something that has a drop down will either give you the options, there's different options here. The play button is going to show you that's going to you press play and that'll start your code. The one with the little key icon and the A, that's to click your keyboard to start your code. And then there's the messages that we just showed. And then the loop one. So the loop you would attach two codes. You would attach a code in between it and it would replay the code or that part of the code over and over and over again in a never ending loop. But again, none of this is connected, so none of this is actually making a real code. So that's pretty much it for today. Um, 
So we basically just went over, we went over how to connect your Bluetooth, how to get your smart hub going, and how to create a message, how to make a comment, and just to review the basics of coding. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you subscribe and like to Waffles Community Robotics.